Hi, my name is Stacy. Some of you know me, maybe some don't. I just would like to introduce myself and my website, uh, heavyglory.com. And uh, I've been thinking about something Jesus said in the Gospels during the Last Supper. I believe every God-breathed word that God spoke and is speaking has so many dimensions to it, so many revelations to it, so many angles to it. Everything has so much life to it that it's just crazy. One person could see one thing, another person could see something else receive something from the Lord of hosts that the spirit of the living God is our teacher. Jesus, he said that the spirit would teach you all things. But I was thinking about the last supper where Jesus, he says, take, eat, this is my flesh. And he says, take, drink, this is my blood that he's offering his life to you his very essence to you and when he's offering his life to you to just receive that it's huge it is really really huge i mean i just keep getting wave after wave of revelation or awareness of the depth, spiritual awareness of the depths of what he's offering to us. That there's so much to, I mean, so much to this revelation that his uh, unlimited, limitless power and authority, he's given it to us that we are partakers of this power and authority that we have been in the scriptures it says that we died with Christ that we were buried with him were raised with him and Jesus he's seated at the highest heaven that we're basically co-crucified, co-buried, <coughs> co-raised, co-seated. In fact, Jesus, he says that greater things you'll do than in his earthly ministry. <clears throat> he said greater things you'll do because I go to the Father. That he's seated at the highest place and we're seated with him. <clears throat> that it's Satan's worst nightmare for even one believer to really fully understand the power and the authority of being a son of God, having full power and authority over everything and fully grasping that revelation. And I was even thinking about Peter where he was walking in so much glory and understanding how much power and authority he has and we have that people were laying the sick on the side of the road that he would just walk by them and they would be healed. That it's a, it's an atmosphere and awareness that we as believers have the availability to walk in and have you ever seen Spider-Man? There's this one Spider-Man movie where 
when he first got bit by the spider and he got these supernatural powers that his glasses became blurry and he took off his glasses and he had the 2020 or more vision because of his supernatural abilities there was no ailments anymore well I mean, I'm even believing that for myself. Might as well test it right now. Just walking in that supernatural glory, authority, power, that prescription glasses become blurry. And then they're 2020 20 and more without the glasses because of the environment of heaven that we're seated in. The weather system of heaven that we walk in. And, you know, you hear about even people in the church in religious environments that You'll hear of men that are addicted to porn, even in the church. And I thought about it. They just don't realize that they're new creation. They don't realize that old things have passed away, all things have become new. That that old self has been crucified. That old self that was addicted to porn, was crucified, buried, and that now we're a new creation. The realization that we're new, dead to sin, alive to righteousness, alive to God. And in the scriptures, it says that the gospel is basically foolishness to the Greeks. That basically to the world, the gospel is just utter foolishness. And the world, they say, I'm not going to believe something unless I see it. But in the kingdom of heaven, if you believe it, it causes the manifestation. It's reverse. It's flipped. So just marinate in that. Dwell on that. Dwell on the reality of heaven until you see the manifestation of what's in heaven and see it pop and manifest in front of your eyes. And you see, I mean, I, I was just in Walmart today and I see like the sadness, the despair, the hopelessness, the lack of purpose on people's faces. But in reality, is what's going on is we just need to realize that we're already seated in heavenly places. That there is something bigger deep inside of every person. They just know that there's a purpose, there's something so much bigger, so much more satisfying, that Jesus is our Garden of Eden, He is our heaven, that we're sons of God, that there's huge purpose in all of us. And then, and only then, we'll have that smile, that, that joy, that joy of the Spirit, that joy of heaven, that uh, 
purpose. Anywho, thank you for listening to me. And I'll go ahead and have a QR code show up in this video if you've been blessed and you'd like to, you know, bless my socks off, my shoes off. It uh, gives me more resource for uh, kingdom things. So I will talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let us dip our hearts in the streams of life. 